Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the wrap up. I'm Loria Lucci. This week, Young Thug denied bond after fears of witness intimidation. Jada Pinkett has a solution for Will Smith and Chris Rock. R. Kelly is making one final attempt to avoid a life sentence, plus a bunch more. Let's get right to it. An Atlanta judge refused to release Young Thug on bond and said he must remain in jail. Now, during court, legendary music executive Kevin Lowes, founder of 300 Entertainment, took the stand in a tearful plea and advocated for Young Thug. Kevin told the judge how much of a good person Young Thug is and said if Young Thug defaulted on the bond, he'd pay for it himself. Prosecutor Don Gary argued that Young Thug can't buy his way out of jail and if he's released, he'll intimidate witnesses. Don also said other alleged gang members told prosecutors that they feared Young Thug would kill them and their family in retaliation. Young Thug's trial date is set for January 2023. During a new episode of Jada Pinkett's Red Table Talk, she broke her silence about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. Now, she started off the show acknowledging the alopecia community and announced she wants to educate people more about the health condition. Now, when she did speak on the wild, historic Oscars night, she said her deepest hope is for the two intelligent men to have an opportunity to heal and reconcile the state of the world today. She said, quote, we need them both and we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years, and that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Months after losing her case with Cardi B, the YouTuber Tasha Kay launched her appeal to overturn the $4 million defamation verdict now during court. Tasha's legal team claimed a judge excluded a wide range of key evidence about Cardi B's character and didn't let jurors see who Cardi truly is. It's not clear what that evidence is. However, the judge at that time ruled that such evidence might be prejudicial against Cardi. Now, Tasha's attorney said information about Cardi's character should have been fair game in a case that focused on potential harm to Cardi's reputation. Tasha's attorneys also argued Cardi's lawyers failed to prove Tasha intentionally lied about Cardi. Now this case has been going on since 2019. Y'all know I'ma keep y'all updated. Disgraced R&B legend R. Kelly is trying to avoid a life sentence. In a recent court appearance, he denied taking part in a bribery scheme surrounding his marriage to the late Aaliyah in 1994. R. Kelly refutes allegations he got Aaliyah a fake ID when she was just 15 and he was 27. Last year, R. Kelly's ex-tour manager, Demetrius Smith, took the stand at R. Kelly's Brooklyn trial and said R. Kelly persuaded him to obtain the fake ID. He also said the decision to obtain the document was made by R. Kelly's associates after R. Kelly said she was pregnant. R. Kelly's legal team requested a reduced sentence of 14 to 17 and a half years. He will be sentenced in two weeks for his sex crimes against minors. Jim Jones is taking credit for Kid Cudi's career. Now, during a recent interview at Sirius XM, Jimmy said Kid Cudi was a nobody before hopping on the remix to his 2008 breakout hit, Day and Night. Now, Jimmy explained how he put it on YouTube and someone from Hot 97 ripped it from there and put it up on the radio. Now, when Kid Cudi did get signed, Jim Jones was taken off the song and during the interview, Jimmy said, it happens like that, but I'm solely responsible for Kid Cudi's career. You can go tell him that, he's gonna tell you he's right. Do y'all agree? Let me know in the comment section below. This is a sad story, y'all. Master P revealed heartbreaking news that his 29-year-old daughter, Tatiana, passed away. Now, in an Instagram post, he requested privacy so he and his family can grieve. He also hinted at what could have caused the tragic death when he said, quote, We appreciate all the prayers, love, and support. Mental illness and substance abuse is a real issue that we can't be afraid to talk about. With God, we will get through this. Now, an official cause of death has not been revealed, but police suspect it was a drug overdose. Tatiana was on WE TV's Growing Up Hip Hop with her brother Romeo, where she was open about her personal issues on the show. Our thoughts and prayers are with her family at this time. Method Man can add podcast host to his resume. He'll be heading up The Wire at 20, which is a podcast celebrating the iconic HBO series. It'll feature interviews with the cast, creators, and we'll talk about how the show was more than just a police and crime drama. You can check out the first episode right now on Hot97.com. That's all we got for you today on The Wrap Up. I'm Loria Lucci. Now I gotta get back to work. Adios. <laughs>